Alrighty then, what's up there ladies and gentlemen monkeys? My service is Cam. Boom. This is Sev Cam. I don't think they'll know that I'm making a video right now. I just have to wipe the rain off of the cars. A lot of these are for sale. And as crazy as it sounds, they don't like us to have rain. Did I say my name said this is the cam boo? Did I do that? <clears throat> like who's buying a car in the rain anyway? I think maybe it's it just looks more dirty or they look more attractive. What if it rains again in five minutes? <laughs> so I'm mostly listening in my headphones I've been listening all day to Think and Grow Rich you know Napoleon Hill it's a very good book for thinking and growing rich I don't know how to explain it it's a uh, it's a journey he interviews the richest people in the world about how they got rich. Not just interviewing people, it's more than that. It's like, will that stay there? It's, uh, some of the most influential richest people. And it took like 20 years to put the interviews together. So, that is mostly how I'm, uh, that is mostly how I'm dealing with the boredom. It's just boring, really. Like, I know I don't need to wipe the rain off the windows. Like, really? We're leaving in 10 minutes. I was going to say, what time is it? My time is in there. I know I had about 10 minutes and then, freedom! 10 minutes. I'm like, can't we just leave? Like, why don't we just leave now? Like, there's nothing's gonna happen in the next 10 minutes. No one's gonna buy these cars or whatever, you know? So yeah, that's my best tip. Listen to positive things so that you feel good. And it reinforces positivity. Like, I've listened to Think and Grow Rich before. I know the audio book very well, but I'm listening to it again and again and again. And I'm finding it sinking into my brain. It might not look like it. <laughs> I still look like a broke ass bum. Let's do the sponge first, then the final white. This is it's all soaking wet anyway. And we close. We close now. Anyway, uh, Rather than let my mind wander and question, like, why am I doing this? Do I have to do this? Um, can't I just leave now? I'm used to my time being my own. And I'm used to my mind being my own. So this is my solitude inside my headphones. And I put some music on too. I put some good music. Of course. I just, I just think a day can be a lot easier if you're listening to things that make you feel good compared to listening to either your own thoughts, maybe they're negative thoughts, 
or some thoughts someone else put there. Right, I'm done. My name's Seb, this is the camp. I'm gonna go back in now. Boom, I'm done, that's it. I'm gonna tell him I'm finished. <laughs> All right, freedom. I'm leaving now. That was Luke down there. I guess you'll probably meet Luke. He's one of the drivers and he's pretty cool, pretty chill guy. <sighs> what I was wanting to say that I was like trying to trying to say it while I was washing windows, but I thought I hope they don't tell me off for making videos. I wanted to say it's important to saturate yourself with positive information. That's the point I was trying to get at. Like to feel good. You want to have good feeling thoughts constantly coming into your brain so that it's a repetitive pattern. You need to listen to it. You need, <laughs> catch that language. You need to, I'm telling you what you need. I recommend, I suggest, I find that I am best listening to something 10 times, 100 times. Think of those albums where you know all the words to the songs. Imagine if those were positive reinforcing songs, or in this case, audio books. Now the most important thing with Think and Grow Rich is the mindset. It's all about the mind. It's like he interviews 10, uh, no not 10, over, tw over 10 or 20 years is what I'm trying to get at. He interviews like a lot of clever minds, a lot of very smart people who, it's kind of an old book, I think it was like in the 70s, but it's the equivalent of, well, it's Ford is one of them, actual Ford, Henry Ford, the guy who pushed the invention of the car and is one of the only people to still be operating that system of selling cars. A lot of people start selling cars and they fail. There's a lot of car garages that have gone out of business. Henry Ford is one of the solid ones and he's in this Think and Grow Rich book talking about the mindset like he wasn't a smart guy. Well he was, I mean he knew about engines and mechanics but he outsourced everything else. He hired people, he got the experts in. I just find that really interesting. Like all of the people in the book say it's a mindset. You have to love money. You have to attract money. You have to want more money. You have to want more, 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 and not be ashamed of it. Because how is it gonna to come to you if you like, oh, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with it. So I'm just listening to soften my attitude to money, to make me appreciate it more, want it more and to take my mind off the negative chatter that comes up as I'm there for hours just kind of killing time. My name's Seb, this is the cam. Boom.